What's the biggest misconception of you at this point? What's a viewer opinion that is incorrect people have about Jay? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I don't really hear too many bad things about me because I don't feel like I show, I, mean, I don't feel like I'm fucked up at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm a fucked up person. I feel like I ain't never really heard nobody saying bad stuff. I mean, probably some girls probably said I was a hoe or some shit because, you know, I probably mess with a friend or some shit like that. But otherwise, like, I don't feel like people tarnish my name or nothing like that, you know. I feel like I'm a straight up dude. I feel I like everybody fuck with me for the most part. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Oh, uh, recent or just, just? Could be any time in your life. Craziest rumor. Oh, all right. Uh, crazy, I could take the craziest rumor. I know what it is. Uh, when I had a falling out, when I fell out with a uh, old DJ, DJ Earl, Somebody said that I fucked this man's wife, but that was that was a lie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no wife fucker, and I ain't that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? To do no shit like that. But that's one of the craziest rumors I ever heard. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people kept saying it, so that shit, they made it seem like it was true. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who it came from, but even he thought it. You know what I'm saying? He started, he started second-guessing his own wife. You know what I'm saying? Ask her questions and shit like that. But that's some shit, that shit ain't never happened, you know? So if you feel like, if, if that room is still out there today and y'all feel like I fucked that man wife, I ain't do that shit, man. You've addressed this publicly or is this the first time? It's the first time ever, ever saying it. And I'm, I'm a real nigga, I don't lie, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna lie on my dick, just say, you know, I don't do no shit like that. So I ain't fuck your wife, man. I ain't do it. What's the status of your relationship with DJ Earl? I don't fuck with him at all. I don't like to do it. You fucked up person. It's just, I just can't fuck with nobody like that. Just bad energy all the way, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't like that, I'm the opposite. I'm the total opposite. I feel like everybody should be treated right, you know what I'm saying? Cause that karma shit real. Like if you fuck over people, you get fucked over, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just try to carry myself different. You know, I like, like I say, good vibes, you know what I'm saying? And laughter, all that shit, bro. I'm just all about the positive side of shit, you know? Has the fallout between you two been public, been talked about? Yeah, we had a fight. Yeah, we had a whole we had a whole fight. Everybody seen that shit. It, it, this very public. I put his name in the song. My first song that uh that really really blew up when me and Wap Beasy get your ass beat. I said this song in the. That's before we had the fight though. Yeah, but everybody know about this shit though. And they know why you two fell out. They know why. They everybody know what kind of person he is. You know what I'm saying. He be doing some fucked up shit. Well, I don't know if he still do it. I ain't talked to him or seen him in a minute though, but. Did this rumor hurt your brand? Not at all. Not, not you two falling out, but the wife situation. Not at all. Not at all. I feel like it, I, I, can't, I can't even say it helped. It didn't help, it didn't, it didn't help or hurt it. You know what I'm saying? It was just some shit that was said. It just, you know, but I'm glad I just got a chance to clear that up though. Now, n a rumor, generally speaking, can break a person down. Have you ever been broken down by a rumor before? I really don't give a fuck what people say about me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, that shit don't matter. Like, you could say the worst hateful thing ever, you know what I'm saying? That shit don't hurt me physically, you know what I'm saying? Or mentally. Like, you know, I just don't give a fuck what anybody's opinion is about me. I really don't care, you know? Have you always been like this, or was there a point when you did care in your life about people's opinions of you? I used to care, you know. I, I felt like that I couldn't be myself. At one point in time, like, you know, like, you gotta know yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, be comfortable in your own skin. And I feel like I had a problem with it. I never tried to fit in. I never gave a fuck about fitting in, but it was just, it. I never just, I don't know how to put this shit in words, man. I just never gave a fuck about fitting in. You know what I'm saying? I just always been me. Like, you know, fuck, fuck, fuck your opinion. Was it a specific turning point when you go from caring to not caring, or was it just, just a natural progression in life for you? Um, I feel like it was a turning point. I feel like I care so much, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I care so much that it just got to a point where it was just like, why do I care so much about, you know what I'm saying, what other people might think of? It, I feel like it was blocking my blessings, like, you know what I'm saying, blocking me from being a better person by caring so much about what people might think if I do this, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that day, I stepped, I, I just I just stepped out of my bubble, you know what I'm saying? And was just like, fuck it, like, you know, whatever I do, this is what I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my life, you know? I'm in control of this shit. Fuck, like, you know, like, your opinion don't stop shit, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how I just, I just care myself now, you know? So, when was this turning point in your life? What age or what grade was this? I want to say, uh... When I transferred from the DJ and shit to the rap and shit, like in in, in that in that turning point, that's where I started putting out more music and shit like that. Because like when I, I I was I broke my own songs, you know what I'm saying. So I used to play my songs and people used to be like, "Who that is?" You know, and I used to be like, "You know, a new artist." I never said it was me straight out at first because I didn't want people to look at me in the type of way of like, oh, you a DJ, you trying to rap, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Because I care what people thought. And you know, one day shit, I was just like, I had a talk with my mama, you know what I'm saying? She really just kind of made me break out that shell, like of just not, you know, like being, being me, you know what I'm saying? Not being scared to be me, you know what I'm saying? Like 24 seven, I'm just gonna be me. You don't have to hide who you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people like you, more when you show them the real you, you know what I'm saying? So that's how, that's that's probably the point when I started realizing, from when I started, yeah, that's the point when I started transferring from DJ into rap. I just said, fuck you, I'm gonna be me. And was it a certain age? Um, I say about 19, about 19. Started getting like a little bit more confidence and shit like that. I always been a shy dude, like you know what I'm saying. Like it probably won't seem like it, but it, I kind of like with the joke shit. Like you say that that shit might come in to if I say a joke and I get people to laugh. I know they comfortable. You know what I'm saying. Like you know they kind of like put me at ease. Like you know. So that's how I, that's how I just all fell into place. Are you still shy today? Sometimes it depends. It depends. Oh. It, it just depends, but not really though. Like I, I really myself in front of anybody. I don't really care. Like you know, what does it depend on? I feel like it just depends on the type of situation I'm in. Meaning situation meaning like, uh, if it was like a big big person, like you know what I'm saying, like a big somebody big, like you know that like a legend or something to me, like, that's what it depends on. Like, it depends on the person and the type, just the situation. Their status, their stature? Not even that, like, status really, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I, it's just like certain vibes for certain people, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Now, I wanna ask you a question respectfully here, mm. okay? <clears throat> because it's a setup to this next question that I want to ask. <clears throat> what is your sexuality? I like bitches. Okay, are you ever shy when it comes to women? Uh-uh. Never. Never, never, never. Just curious. <laughs> yeah, I like bitches. Because that can get some people. Most definitely. Most definitely. 